Hi everybody, my name is Mary Kirk. I'm an immigration lawyer. Today we're launching our um, first video of a series of video uh, called Kirk Immigration Law, Immigration Real Talk, where I answer questions that are uh, sent to us. So we receive a lot of uh, questions uh, every day by email, by phone, uh, by text message, uh, in the office, walk-ins, on the street, all the time and uh, I've decided to do these series of videos uh, to help you with some of the questions. Um, I'll be able to give you more details in the next video but essentially you'll be able to send your questions in. You can email them at info at keyorkimmigrationlaw.com and we'll pick your uh, questions sometimes and I'll answer the questions. You'll also be able to comment at the bottom of the videos and I'll be able to answer you. Uh, you'll also be able to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel which we're setting up right now uh, in, in order for you to get all the notifications. So I have my coordinator Tanya here. Uh, what we do is we're going to put uh, the questions in a jar and then I'll be uh, picking one or two questions each time um, and answer them. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a question. Yes. Thank you. So this question is, can I reapply for a visitor visa if refused? So that's okay. a really good question. Uh, we get that question very, very, uh, very often. So essentially, yes, you can reapply for a visitor visa as often as you want, actually. Two times, three times, five times, ten times. Um, the problem is, is that if you're refused once, it's very difficult to get reapproved again. Um, it's not impossible, and I've done some visitor visa applications that have been refused once or twice before. And then when we take it as a, as a lawyer, a law firm, we have a certain way of applying um, that's a little bit more complete. So there are chances of getting approved again with good documents, a strong submission letter. A submission letter is a cover letter that as lawyers uh, we prepare it could be like two three pages with the background and details um, but just know that if you've been refused two three times and you keep reapplying with similar things or even sometimes with better documents uh, you can be refused so it's important to maybe seek legal counsel or do a lot of reading uh, before you reapply uh, multiple times so the answer is yes to that question uh, and then we'll take a second final question for today so this question is can I renounce my permanent resident status? A good question, uh, not a question that I get very often um, because if you are a permanent resident, uh, usually people want to hold on to that permanent resident status. However, uh, there are some specific cases where people want to renounce their permanent resident status and there is a way to renounce it. If you go on the immigration website and you type uh, renunciation, voluntary renunciation of permanent resident st status, you'll have all of the steps. Um, so for example, who wants to renounce their, their permanent resident status? So for example, if somebody was a permanent resident, let's say uh, in the 19, you know, 1997, uh, a person became a permanent resident uh, and then they, they left Canada and, and now they want to come back, it's 2017, they want to come back as a visitor, they don't want to live here, but they want to come visit. That person essentially is still a permanent resident. Um, so in order to you know, do proper paperwork for the visitor visa, it's important to maybe renounce that permanent resident status. If not, there might be some confusions when you're applying for a status. Um, or for example, if somebody's a permanent resident of Canada, uh, but wants to, doesn't meet the residency requir requirement anymore, the two years out of five residency, but wants to come back uh, and will be denied a permanent resident card or a travel document, so, and wants to be, let's say, re-sponsored through a spousal sponsorship, we have a, a recent file uh, like that, um, then that person has to first renounce the permanent resident status, which is a pretty straightforward application. I think it could take usually a couple of months. Um, I think I've heard recently it could even take like six, seven weeks. Then once you have the renunciation, then you can apply, uh, this person can apply for the uh, spousal sponsorship to become one, you know, another time, for a second time, become a, a permanent resident of Canada. So yes, renouncing the permanent resident uh, is possible. So those were the two questions for today. Uh, so please do send us your uh, questions and then we'll be, we have a co we're committed to doing these videos uh, once a week, uh, every Friday, uh, starting this week for one year. Uh, I don't know what happened after, but we're going to do these series of questions um, to help you out. So have a great day, everybody. Thank you.